what's going on everybody welcome back to another beautiful beautiful absolutely gorgeous vintage cube draft i'll be your host dr vintage cube and here we're going to prescribe you all the medicine you need oh look frank wins the match i won the match already dang i'm so good at this game what do you guys think what's the pick here tell me the pick tell tell papa frank who the pick I think I know what it is. I knew Star was going to say Ugin. I knew he was going to say Eugene. I think it is sneak. I think going sneak first pick is super correct. Candelabra and Draft Academy. I just did that. We're going to go sneak. And then we're going to get past an Emrakul. Are you ready? It's going to be the next pack. His Her name is Emrakul. All right, we can lean back a little bit, take a load off after that stunning victory we just went through with our infinite mana and hard casting Blightsteel Colostus. Colostus? Co Blightsteel Colostus. Hmm. Hmm. Fascinating. I'm fascinated by this entire pack. Time Spiral is strong. And what I'm thinking is if I take this Time Spiral, this Cruel Ultimatum will no, will undoubtedly come back. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is the pick, and this comes back. So we're going to take this guy. Yeah, we just drafted the Sweet Dream Holes deck yesterday. It was fantastic. I loved it. I loved every second of it. I think we take McJeekums and hope this Pestermite comes back. Because this, we, oh, we just actually passed Stoneforge Mystic, and here's a Cauldra Complete, so that's kind of cool. If it doesn't wheel, we do riot. I'm going to take McJeekums here. Actually, Pestermite, what's what's the better, what's the what's the more likely card to come back? I th I think they're both probably going to come back. Also, Ashen Rider for the card we do have might be better. I, I don't think that's terrible. Hmm. You might be onto something here with Ashen Rider. But I think Ashen Rider might table. But then if we take Kiki Jiki with the hope this tables, then we're not getting Pestermite. So it's like, boy, it's a real conundrum, isn't it? This is good without anything tabling, and we might just get a Bone Crusher Giant. Oh boy, what a what a predicament. I'm gonna take Kiki Jiki. It felt right to me. Magma Opus. Oh, God, I love a Magma Opus. You'll never change my mind. You'll never get me to not play a Magma Opus. Don't even try it. Plus, if you can't tell, we're trying to find a Dream Halls so we can play all these cool expensive cards. But a Torrential Gear Hulk will do because that guy gets Magma Opus and that's one of my favorite interactions in Pioneer. Also, Goldspan Dragon is no slouch, but... This is early enough where we can build around this guy and prioritize instance a little uh, a little higher. Can you prioritize them higher? Uh, Coligon's command actually seems better than Titan here because of Torrential Gear Hulk, I think. I'm going to take this guy. I like the whole Magma Opus vertical cycle. What does that even mean? <laughs> Tell me what that means. Explain yourself. Like, I'm obviously hoping Cruel Ultimatum wheels, so I'm obviously fine with being Grixis. My, my concern with this cube is that there's they've added too many Grixis cards that I want to play, so I often prioritize them over the mana fixing that I need. What do we got here? Scrabble God? All right. Oh, Deceiver Exarch with the Kiki McJiki? Well, we got to take Deceiver Exarch here because reasons. I don't know what the I wonder what the one card that comes back in that pack is. That pack's pretty good for us. I am hoping Pestermite comes back, but maybe like 
if Bone Crusher comes back or if Ashen Rider comes back, I think it's still pretty good. This pack, however, does not fall under pretty good. We can take actually World Spine Worm for sneak attack. That's pretty decent. And this deck also lends itself to flash if we can find it. We can also take Fatal Push, but I think sneak attacking World Spine Worm is pretty sweet. Oh, Creative Outburst Elemental. Yes, I love all of those. You're right. I have several of those in my Innistrad cube. We got the we got the Ugin. I think it's just Hallbreaker Hori here. Ugin wins, but we don't have any mana to accelerate into it, and it also can't be cast like a Dream Halls. I'll take it anyway. I think it's better than Hallbreaker Horror. I could see sneaking in Hallbreaker Horror, then casting a bunch of spells and bouncing the Hallbreaker Horror as the last spell. Oh, yes. Papa wanted that cruelly boy. Why did you accidentally put Eugene in your sideboard? Uh, Carpal Tunnel. Carpal Tunnel Syndrome. Pestermite. Pestermite. Pester. Pestermite. I mean, we got a pretty late to see Rex Arc. I would not be surprised if Pestermite came back. He's in the main deck in Spirit. Because <laughs> he's a Spirit Dragon, you see. It's lore. You, you don't understand the lore. You wouldn't get it. Oh, well, we did get this, but not the Pestermite. But that's still pretty good. Also, having black cards in our deck helps us with Ashen Rider when we want to discard it to... Uh, Dream Halls that we're going to get. Oh, uh, I don't actually want a Mana Crypt in the triple color deck. <laughs> It'll never cast Cruel Ultimatum. It's very hard on some of our cards. Uh, I'd rather probably have a Lotus or one of our on-color Moxes. Yeah, I feel like Ugin and Gra Wow, that's a late Grave Titan, and I'm pretty much okay with it. A lot of six mana cards, though. Oh, the Goldspan Dragon came back? How in the hell? Evolve Sleeper was last pick. I, I'm flabbergasted at this Goldspan Dragon. That makes Cruel's Man significantly easier to cast. Okay, we didn't open any uh, power in this pack. Why did he use quotes? Nobody knows. It's really weird. Isn't it weird? What weird guy? Uh, I think it's Urtai. Urtai has consistently impressed me every time I've cast it. But yeah, this pack is not great. Is Snap and Sneak a combo? Huh. <laughs> Magna plus Dragon. I don't think that's... <laughs> If you can attack with Magda five times and keep five treasures around, you can go search for Goldspan Dragon. It's like, well, that's it's not it's not as good as you think it is. I mean, I actually don't just hate it as like a ramp to turn four, to be honest. I think Urtai is better and I think Magda will come back. Well, there's no fixing lands in our color. There's also no... Si oh, actually, I, I misspoke. There is a Xander's Lounge, which is absolutely perfect yep we're definitely not taking colors library when we're trying to cast cruel ultimatum uh graven can oh there's it there it is there it is <laughs> all right we're definitely taking dream halls here and hoping graven karen's wheels yes wow that's a late channel that y'all have no respect for y'all dirty I actually like Expressive Iteration here. That seems pretty good. It's nice and cheap. It's good interaction. Interaction with our deck, I mean. <laughs> Fiery Confluence is kind of disgusting. So we'll take... Or it could be Sheldock. I think it's got to be Fiery Confluence here. That card's pretty busted. Hmm. Boy, oh boy.
All right, we really need some fixing, though. We only have a Xander's Lounge so far, but really, we have Magma Opus, Krolt's Man, and Ashen Rider. We have a bunch of sweet cards to pitch to, to Dream Halls. Also, if we can get, like, a Narset to, to make our time spiral a little more one-sided, I'd be very much on board with that. Atraxa would be sweet as well, both for Sneak Attack and for the Dreamy Hall. We need something to do for turn four. We got we got Espresso Federation, Exarch, and Kologonsk, man. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Was there did we already open an R set and it's in wheel? That's sad. I don't hate a chain lightning. We can always discard the chain lightning to cast Cruel Ultimatum, so that's kind of fascinating. Sahili. Not great. I'd, I think I'd rather just have the removal of Chain Lightning. It's not exciting, but it is cheap, and I think that's what we need. Also, Graveyard Trespasser. I'm going to take the Trespasser. I think Trespasser is a better body. We're definitely taking Creeping Tar Pit here. Trespasser got that body. Interesting enough, Urborg is not terrible for fixing here. Especially when this needs triple black. I do like a Chandra. We have another pack still, too, which I'm kind of excited about. Could just be Probe. Yeah, it could just be Probe. I don't hate a Probe. I do like a Chandra, though. Like, I actively like Chandra. Yeah, I'm going to take the Chandra. I think it's just a... Like, I just get, like... I know Git Probe's probably stronger in a vacuum. But, like... I like having Chandra in my deck, and I like casting it. I think it, it does things, and Git Probe doesn't actually, like, do things. There's a Magda. I knew she'd come back. I knew you'd be back, Magda. Yeah, turn two Magna into any of our turn four plays is pretty good. She basically, she's just basically a talisman, you know? You tap her to make a mana. I think this draft is not rigged yet. I think we need... I don't think we're a paradoxical outcome deck. It might be a jar deck, actually. I do like a jar to draw... Oh, what, the Graven Cairns came back? Yeah, I'll take a Graven Cairns. For sure. Uh, Stowaway actually seems great. Uh, I'll just take a path. No, that's not. None of those are exciting. This is already 21 cards. <laughs> Yeah, Jar West Dream Halls is like you play Dream Halls, you play Jar, you sack the Jar, and then you get a bunch of cards to play for free. Uh, Jetmere's Garden doesn't do anything for us, unfortunately. It is only a mountain. Whew, time Twister. I do like a time twister with with dream halls, but I think we got to take Delta here. There's also a mana vault. We're definitely not an upheaval deck. Yeah, I think it's either mana vault or Delta. I do like actually vault into like time vault into times where all seems rough because we just don't get to untap any lands. I'm going to take vault here, but I'm, I'm really sad about not being able to take the Delta. God, there's three cards in here through the breach, bad lands in Ulamog. Ah. Ah. Strix is like one of the, the, the least car cards I would take.
Ulamog is good to sneak. Badlands is just good in general. But Ulamog is not great with anything else because you can't actually... Like, you can't actually cast them. I think it's through the Breach and hope the Badlands, the Ulamog, or the Proving Ground come back. There's also Atali, which is no joke. Atali was brutal. I'm going to take the Badlands because I think our deck is good and we need fixing. We just need it. I do like a Duretti. Shark Typhoon, really? That's fascinating. I do like Deluge as well. I do. I kind of like Duretti. I'm gonna take Duretti instead. I think it's. I think it's the better card. I don't love that I take damage from Fiery Islet, but I think it's correct here. This is two of our lands. This could be a this could be a thing. There's also Mystic Confluence. Hmm, man. These packs have had multiple cards for us in each one. Good gravy. Sort by mana value. Scoot this over. Put you here for now, because you're just in that big fat pile. Yeah, Thief is good too, but like without any way to like ramp into that. I'm just gonna take the triome. I think we just want more fixing. Dragon Lord of Tarka. Oh, uh, let's take Phantasmal Image. This is really fascinating. I don't know what's going on in this deck. I feel like we have so many good cards, but we're kind of being pulled into Sneak Attack, Splinter Twin, and Dream Hall's directions. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I might take out Kiki Jiki and Deceiver Exarch. Like, it's a two-card combo that doesn't do much outside of that, whereas Sneak Attack works with Ashen Rider, World Spine Worm, Grave Titan. No. Force of Negation, not terrible. Yeah, let's take a Force of Negation here. It's also nice with uh, Dream Halls because you can kind of protect what you're doing. So this is 23 and 14. That's 37. So we get one more new pack, I believe. Fascinating. Cryptic command. <laughs> I mean, Seething Song was pretty good the other, the other time we had it. Surprisingly. I don't think it's Cryptic command. We did not see Flash. Could just be Odawara. I do like Seething Song because it lets us go turn three sneak attack and activate. I'm going to actually take Seething Song. I, I've been impressed with Seething Song. I think it's underrated, but people don't see it coming a lot. Like, you can go turn three, add five, play sneak attack, activate sneak attack, put something into play, and then just, like, steamroll, you know? You feel me, bro? Mm, Dire Fleet Daredevil is a fine sideboardy gentleman. Oh, wow, through the breach and Ulamog came back. Okie dokie. Um... I think I'd rather have a second through the breach when we have World Spine and Ashen Rider. I think I'd rather have two and two here. Plus, again, through the breach goes well with um, Dream Halls, whereas Ulamog just doesn't. Shark Typhoon comes back. That's wild. I'm going to take Mizium Mortars here. I think we have a lot of artifact destruction. Yeah, that's fine. Thief came back. Wow. <laughs> Okie dokie. D boy. I wish we had more fixing here. Well, we got six lands, actually. We ended, I think we ended up better than I thought we did. We do need three cuts, though. 
Yeah, I'm glad I cut Kiki Jiki and Splinter Twin. I don't think they were really doing us any favors. If you play Ugin, you need less fixing. This is why Stuart got paid the big bucks back in the day. Okay, so... I think Graveyard Trespasser is fine, but not exciting. Hmm. This is awkward, because I, th I think I like everything else in the deck. <laughs> Memory Jar is really good with Dream Halls, but I can see cutting it because we can't cast it with Dream Halls. One more cut, huh? How many bits to see you scratch your bare back with that scratch? <laughs> do, you, do you mean... Like, you want to see me do the scratching, or I have to just scratch it, and then... I could see playing 41 in this, like, I'll be honest. Sort by color. Okay, these are all break-even cards. And then we have two of these, two of these, and two of these. So these all break-even, too. These should not be accounted for when... And then we got these guys. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, take out the green, take out the white. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, eight, seven seems great, but I think that's one over. No, this is actually one under. So we actually get one more. I think it's maybe red. Three, four, five, six, seven, black. I mean, Time, time Spiral draws us seven and it untaps all our mana. Time Spiral is like never a do nothing, my friend. You, you maniac. Also, Magna making treasures and casting Duretti afterwards means you can activate Duretti on the same on the turn he comes into play to sack an artifact with. I just saw more black source. We do have a lot of early black plays like Urtai, Thief of Sanity, Kolagon's Command, Duretti. I might just want one more black source. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Right now it's eight, eight, seven. We can just do eight, eight, eight. Okay, this is going to be... This is a deck right here, so. All right, I'm trying to mentally prepare myself to not win our games. Because <laughs> I feel like we're a bit dirtily, but we have some sweet combos like Through the Breach, Sneak Attack, Ashen Rider, World Spine Worm, Grave Titan. I would have loved a, a, an Ulamog, but... I took the Badlands for the first Ulamog, and I took the Through the Breach for the second Ulamog, so... I don't hate it. This hand gets crazy good if we did draw Dream Halls. Discard image, cast Krill Ultimatum. Crazy good. Also, if we can just top deck a mana vault, that'd be cool. Oh, they just they're just gonna discard a big fat idiot. Yep, that's pretty good. But then we get to Phantasmal Image, their big fat idiot, so that's cool. Yeah, 
man, what if we hit Dream Halls off of there? What if they hit Dream Halls? Oh, sh I guess it still works either way. Oh my god, I'm I'm anticipating the worst right now, but also the best. Soaring. Interesting. I don't know what's going on. I do know that Fiery Confluence might be good against this, but right now we're just taking our time. They might have needed two mana. They might just have like an exhum or something. Oof, they're doing it. Necromancy. Corpse Dance. Oh, we don't even get it. Oh, balls. You're going to hit Magma Opus? Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Jesus. This is the problem with having all cool shit in your deck that your opponent just gets to do it. Oh my god. That's balls. A braid hits nothing though, so that's fine. Come on, man. I am dead inside. Sure, they get to keep a 4-4, and they get to draw 2, and they deal us 4, and they deal us 7. Did you mentally prepare? I was working on it. I mean, we could play Chandra and kill their elemental token. God, them drawing 2 off that was pretty good. Alright, Exiled Piles can go away, because that doesn't really... This one back to our graveyard though, so it's still it's still good for torrential gear hulk, you know. Okay, discard again. They're just doing a bunch of nonsense. Well, next turn this does add two red, which means this mountain is useless. If this mountain wasn't a mountain and we drew uh another blue or black land we could actually chandra oh no we can turn the red into two blue or two black rather so this could be black 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 blue red red if we draw another blue source we can sh we can actually um yes they miss lands yeah if we draw another blue source we can crawl ultimate next turn presuming chandra stays alive Okay. <sighs> Come on, untapped blue source. <laughs> That's a tapped blue source. Oh, buttery biscuits. Um, well, we can just keep Urtai up, actually. That's not terrible. Two, three. But it does let us cast Cruel to make him next turn. Um. Yeah, let's exile. See what we hit. Oh, a Duretti. I don't think we do want to play Duretti. I think we just want to keep up Urtai. Counter whatever nonsense they do, then cast Cruel Ultimatum. That feels correct. Cruel Ultimatum. I don't want to destroy the ring because two black is still plenty for whatever they want to do with this Grave Titan. I think we can just... I'd rather just keep a bird tie. If they want to play something expensive off of Soul Ring, that's fine. I'll just counter it. Plus, I just don't want to tap out against their... Like, if they get Grave Titan, like, Cruel Ultimatum is significantly less effective. <sighs> That's annoying. I don't think I want them to do that. Cast it into the fire! Um, I can't let them do this. I can't let you do that. 
I know they're going to reanimate Grave Titan, but I'd rather not have them do that. Like, discarding two random cards here is just a little too brutal. Necromancy. Sure, you got it. And an island. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. I mean, we get to copy Grave Titan, but I'd kind of like to Cruel Ultimatum here instead. But maybe we can wait. I mean, I'd really like to fire a Confluence and kill their guys. I mean, Time Sprout gives them one extra card. Let's play our land. We could Phantasmal Image, copy Urtai, kill the Grave Titan, Time Spiral, untap six, and see what we hit. Because if we hit Dream Halls and something else, it actually could be pretty decent. Hmm. Yeah, let's do this. This is tricky. I'm not sure if this is going to be correct or not. I like that we still, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm tanking quite a bit, but we still have like a minute more than they do on the clock, so that's nice. Like if we cast Cruel, we don't get anything back. And we give them a card, but they kind of choose an Urtai to keep. I'll keep the good one. Destroy another creature, this guy. Uh, okay, that guy is gone. And then we're gonna do this jobby. Two, three, four, because they have seven cards right now, so we're actually drawing like five and they're drawing mm, technically none. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, so can we go, we play to land this turn. What do we do here? We can go red into this, tap this. Tap this for Seething Song. Use one red and one blue for iteration. Put one of them into your hand, this one. One on the bottom. This one. And exile this one. Okay, and then we can play Nothing else. That was not the most exciting. Uh, one, two, three. <laughs> it's not. It's not great. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just pass here. That's not exciting. That was a pretty bad. Pretty bad. Time spiral.
I mean, we had three hits with expressive iteration to try to hit like an Ashen Rider or a World Spire Worm. World Spine Worm or World Spire Worm? I think it's Spine. World Spine Worm? What kind of worm is it? Tell me about the worm. Yeah, sneaking, going worm into into phantasmal image is pretty good because then you get then you get six worms, you know. But also phantasmal image is pretty sweet because if they do play something broken here, we can just sneak attack and copy it. I thought we would have been farther behind. Bone shards discarding Uli to kill Urtai. Actually, if we just get to interesting, I'm I'm very fascinated right now. If they if they bring Ulamog back, we can actually sneak attack Ulamog, copy Ulamog with sneak attack. No, nope, we only get one of those. Never mind. Demonic Tutor. Okay. Okay. Okie dokie. I'm tempted to block here just so we have... Yep. All right. That's actually fine. We have to figure out a way to win here, you know? Don't kill my Chandra, though. Like, I, I guess we can, actually. Is Chandra better than Gear Hulk here? We put Phantasmal Image into play with Sneak Attack to attack with Ulamog. I think this is fine. I think it's got to be done. All right, fingers crossed, right? Give me that Ashy Rider. Grave. Gravy T. Is that going to do anything? Gravy T. Uh, the Ulamog token. Um, No, it's a cash trigger. It's not going to. That would not do anything. So what if we put all three of these into play? How much damage is that? They kind of have to block here, but I guess that's indestructible. So then I take six and five is 11. That's not lethal. a lot of zombies but none of them can attack this turn unfortunately man I feel like we're so close right now excel the top 20 cards of your library if I can only make two ulamogs here that would be the that would be the best wouldn't it Six and five is 11, 12, 13, 14. We can deal four. Yeah, we can deal 14. <sighs> Exile 20 doesn't do anything. They go to four cards and then we die. <laughs> like, that does not do anything. I just want to make sure we're correct here. God, I wish I could just attack with, or I wish I could just cast it. We cannot target expressive iteration with Gear Hulk. It is a sorcery. Um, seething song. Why is it indestructible? I think we're. I think this is the end. We put this guy into play. We copy this guy. We attack. They just block with their own Ulamog. We're going to try. We're going to see what happens here. Put this into play. Copy Seething Song.
uh, put Grave Titan into play. Put Phantasmal Image into play. Copy an Olamog. Activate this guy. Uh, uh, uh. Yep. Well, we get to see their deck at the very least, right? Bitter, Colgon, Fiery, Inquisition, Sneak Attack. They got Sneak Attack, too. Their deck is just a more streamlined version of the... Yep, six. We can put them to two, and if Chandra lived, we would actually be able to kill them with Chandra. That's kind of funny. Yep. That's the end. Uh, so close. <laughs> Let's put in Graveyard Trespasser. That guy's beautiful. Uh, let's put in Baleful Mastery. Being able to exile whatever creature they put into play is pretty good. But I feel like uh, Seething Song, again, did pretty well. Just being able to ramp into something is it's pretty decent. Everything else is good. Jeez. Uh, maybe Fiery Confluence isn't that great here. Like, we only saw, like, one artifact from them, and it doesn't destroy enchantments, so. I mean, that's why we did that. That's why we attacked. Like, maybe they, maybe they think, like, wow, they got an overwhelming amount of creatures. We can't win, so we'll just concede. But alas, they, they did not fall for it. Um, I'll keep this because expressive iteration is decent, even though it's like a turn three play for us. Unless we draw like a Badlands. Shandy. Well, we can iterate next turn. No, we can't. Just kidding. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, I guess we'll play Zagoth Triome here. Mm, just a little goof. Draw your two. Good for you. Hey, there's that Badlands we were looking for. Uh, let's go double red, red. Mm. X all the top card, but I'm feeling it's going to be good. Cast it. Fiery Islet. I can't cast it. It's a land. It's You're not even able to cast that. We could Time Spiral again next turn. Again, they have eight cards. We have three. So Time Spiraling actually feels pretty decent. Kind of negates their Hymnotoric and their Night's Whisper. Never mind. Well, we still get a turn, right? That was pretty rough.
Mm, that's fine. Again, they're going up to seven, though. So, I mean, I guess they could discard, like, Gristlebrand, and then we time spiral, and it's like, oh, no, you got Gristlebrand to play. Oh, okay, just a swamp. Okay, sure. But now we're going to time spiral, so it's like nothing happened. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is what a good hand looks like. So we can go one, mana vault three. This is how much we got. We, we need one to activate. We need three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we're too shy. So I think we're going to go like this. Oh, we can actually, oh, we can sneak Urtai in though. So we're going to go double red, black. Like if we really need to counter something. There's no way we can deal one more point, right? Because they're at 16. Oh, we could have just put this guy into play. Ah. <laughs> oh, well. We'll give them one turn, I guess, and see if that's our our folly. I mean, I did kind of have a feeling they might have an answer for an Urtai. But... Because, like, if they have, like, Burst Lightning or Lightning Bolt or any kind of removal for, for an Urtai, it's pretty good. But if they're tapping five for a Seething Song, sure. Seven mana. Yeah, we're just gonna... Uh, we're just gonna put this guy into play. And he got haste. All right. Well, that was a that was a game for the ages. Whew. Skin of our teeth here. Yeah, because if we sneak in Urtai there and then they have like an answer for Urtai, then they get to untap, cast Atali, you know, what if they hit like Magma Opus again or they hit like, uh, I guess Magma Opus wouldn't do it, but I mean like still, your skin have teeth? Would you be interested in selling a few? Listen, buddy, I think you got enough teeth, okay? I actually was thinking Deceiver Exarch might be pretty good. That definitely crossed my mind. I don't know what we'd bring in for it, though. Because, like, we also have Baleful Mastery, which we can cast. Force of Negation, we can just counter the Corpse Dance. Like, like we have Grave Trespasser to keep their guys out. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of a sucker for Thief of Sanity. I gotta think Deceiver Exarch's better than Thief of Sanity, right? Magna ramps us into our, our sweet four drops, so I actually don't want to cut a, a cheaper card. I could see I could see cutting Thief of Sanity. 
but I didn't want, in my heart, I didn't want to. So I was like, you know what? Not going to do it. Don't say you're not going to do it. But I did not do it. Oh, well. Bitter, okay, that's not a bitter reunion. See, and if this resolves, we get to go Chandra next turn, which is kind of cool. And by resolves, I mean if we get to attack with a Magda. Why don't you got haste, Magda? Oh no, they're just going to discard. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I don't think they're going to do anything at instant speed. So maybe we just keep a tolly up here. Not a tolly, Urtai. Sorry, I'm getting my, my, e, my ET AI cards confused. Sure, we'll just pass. Ertali, yeah. <laughs> Kerwin, have a good night, buddy. Always appreciate you. Yes, five mana. They said OLMFG. I don't know what happened. Did they click the wrong thing? Oh, no. That's no good. I mean, it's okay for us, I guess, but not for them. Yeah, that's brutal. Um, I think we're just keeping up Torrential Gear Hulk and also Urtai. But see, they know the they know the secret, they know the seething song tech. Um, oh God, it's, it's a, it's a comes into play effect, isn't it? That's a bummer. I don't really want that to resolve. So I think we're just going to ur tie it. This is also a good amount of damage we're dealing here, so. Get out of here. Fascinating. We have a lot of mana here. This is four treasures. Oh my God, we can almost sacrifice them to search for an artifact or a dragon and put it under the battlefield. Wild. So what is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So we can actually play Kolagon's Command and Gear Hulk. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm tempted to just torrential gear hulk during their upkeep. I think they have very few answers if we do that. Four to the face, done. Two, black, black. So we're in the upkeep. So, I mean, it's possible that they have something. Mm, does not look like it though. All right, got him. Got him. All right, round two. So every time I think you're you've left, you're you, then you pop up with a message, and I'm like, man, look, he's still there. This is great. What great news! Uh this is pretty good. Two two drops. One helps with mana. One helps helps with my car my crads. So we could go magna into sneak attack. Is that any good? Probably good. Oh, Arona. Arona. I think we have enough lands that I kind of want to play Stowaway here, though. Hmm. Is that correct? Probably. Because if they don't actually cast something, then we just get to flip this, which is also pretty cool. And next turn we can play these 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 two. We can discard like a mountain or something. Probably not a mountain. It's our second red source. Probably. Oh, look at that. What a guy. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And a library, huh? G Hulk. So I think it's a Swamper. So next turn, depending on what they make, we could Fiery Confluence and kill everything, but maybe we don't even have to do that. Oh lordy. Might want to get rid of this guy soon. Well, that is something, isn't it? <laughs> Actually, this could be decent if they block with Urza. Oh, they're just gonna draw a billion cards, huh? That's pretty good. This is a lot of things that they're doing. This is solid. I'm a fan of what you're doing here. Yep. <laughs> oh boy. Well, that would have been good if we had another creature in the hand, you see. Oh, they just didn't even care. They didn't even care. Hmm. So this costs three now. Boy, that's interesting. Well, they have five cards. Boy, I'd love to I'd love to destroy. Maybe I just destroy all their artifacts. 
that better? Oh, you need another red, eh? I'll give it to you. X gonna give it to you. I mean, we couldn't kill Urza anyway, so it's kind of, you know, that would be the goal. I mean, Daddy just wants an Ashen Rider, you know? Three mana. Four mana. You're in a jar here. I got real excited because we hit this. And then I was like, oh, we don't get any of these cards. That's unfortunate. Sure. Why did they discard Spell Pierce? What am I missing? Oh, from Rana. They looted. Got it. Sure, you got it. Oh, God. Sure. Okay. Phenomenal. Always a good time. Let's bring in Baleful Mastery to kill your Urza. Um... Hmm. I'm waiting for Eugene to get his fair shake. Oof. Uh, what do we need him with one cut? Uh, maybe force of negation. Yeah, we'll give this a shot. We have all our colors and a Duretti and a... Beautiful. Congratulations. Oh, wow. That's fascinating. Now I think we just keep up Urtai, I guess. I think their deck is very good. Sure. <laughs> yep, just keep drawing those cards. Yep, don't care about that.
that I care about. armpit stains on his shirt <laughs> jesus christ oh lord okay sure why not oh, good times guess we'll have six because we're tapped out yep fantastic Just jar here with nothing floating? That's that would be weird. Hmm, fascinating. Well No, sorry, you can't get your ramen. I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so, pal. Black and red. Oh, I didn't even activate. I'm so till. I'm so like. I'm kind of. I'm kind of like. I feel like we're not in this game at all. They have four cards in a memory jar on the board. So, snap. Yep. One more mana and we can call Agon's command and get rid of something good, but. F6 again. It's unfortunate this is going to be in our graveyard, but. Maybe we top take a fiery confluence. Let's see what you get. Nothing. He just whiffed. Okay. Fantastic. Man, my kingdom for a fiery confluence here. Yeah, not making a 1-1 one -one here was pretty rough. Because now they just get to killed already. I guess they could have done that anyway if they attack with everything, but they might not have because then we get to block here. I, no, he would have went up to four, so then they would have taken three, went to one, and we would have had to be able to, be able to trade with something. Presumably. Well, now they're paying like seven mana for something. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, I've... I've enjoyed your bullshit long enough. Fantastic. Oh, Lord. It's like Storm, only different. That's all. Boy, it sure is fun watching other people play Magic. That's my favorite part of the game, is the watching. All right, well, let's see if we can 2-1 with this deck. Oh, 
have a hard time shipping a hand that has like confluence, which can, yeah, I'm going to keep it because of confluence, which really like, it's kind of like an equalizer where if they do some broken stuff, we can confluence. Also temple garden does not fill me with fear. Yeah. Confluence. So we just have to survive like three turns and hope they don't play something busted before then. And then we're golden, you know? Okay. Okay. Well, we don't have any artifacts, so the joke's on you, bucko. We could also draw Seething Song into Through the Breach into Grave Titan, kill their deck, get four two twos. I'd do that. Does make Fiery Confluence dealing two damage to everything worse. I have no idea what those emotes are. Pink Jam and Purple Jam, and they're two little cats. Chain Lightning and Mox Diamond. What is going on? Yeah, this opening was unexciting. We still have a chance to draw something on turn three that we can possibly play. That's like the best thing to hit. Thief of Sanity might be nice. They can't steal that. You can't steal that! Oh my god, choose your cards. <laughs> I'm like, it's midnight, just choose them. Venser and Walking Ballista, got it. Okay. Beautiful, Fiery Confluence, coming through clutch. Another land, great, phenomenal. We're, we're doing it. And by it, I mean nothing. Nothing at all. All right, well. I'm crossing my fingers that they don't have any great way to interact with Dax Emblem. Today, Junior. Mm. Come on, my dude. <laughs> okay, using four arms and Mike B's face to indicate her tie is pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, now we got one ring and Sylvan carry added. Oh no. Titania? Oh man, this is actually just getting better and better. So Fire Confluence for three like wipes their whole board is what you're saying? And then they have one card in hand? Our hand is... We've drawn all lands and three spells, so... Cast. Cast it into the fire.
I mean, if if we didn't have this, we'd just dead next turn because they sack three lands, make 15 power of elementals, and then goo. So worst case scenario, we just threw the Breach Grave Titan here. Okay, they didn't make an emblem, which is probably for the best, because if they did, I think it's they're probably got some degenerate interactions there. That's fine. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, goodness gracious. I guess we'll just swamp it. I think we're just through the breaching here. How can he tap so poorly? Like, it sucks being one man away, but, like, we just... We're not giving us anything to do. Attack the deck. Oh, deck just goes to one. Okay. Good night, sweet prince. We got a strong hand, though. I think we can... God, they're just looting so many cards away. Two from deck, two from fable, two from deck. It's just non-stop, you know? They looted one... They only have one card in hand. God, they've looked through so many cards, but they haven't done anything with any of them, really. I don't understand why they kept Bird, Delighted Halfling, and Noble Hierarch. Sure. They have no cards in hand. I don't think they even have, they have like two lands in the graveyard? Sure. So we can just go two at Dak. Uh, one at Dak, two at Ren, I guess. If we find a way to deal with this goblin, we just get to take out two planeswalkers. Hey! We did it! Alright, cast. Let's deal two damage to any target and we'll get back Grave Titan. Actually, let's just play this first. Cast. Return a creature, deal two damage to any target, cast, creature, target, one, two, three. They have one card in hand. Was it the card they got back? It's probably the card they got back, right? Or did they play that? Savannah? Oh, they just got the Savannah in hand. All right, well, that was a, that was a match that happened. Uh, Baleful Master takes care of Planeswalkers, and they have multiple of those. Probably take Duretti out. Theoretically, this can go over here. We haven't actually had a chance to really take advantage of Dream Halls yet. He says before it's in his opening hand here. It was not in his opening hand. This hand's pretty rough. I think we're shipping this hand. <laughs> Draw 33 cards or win with the deck challenge. We're going to Mulliganos. We'll keep this. Um, I think we can put Gear Hulk back. I don't want to put a third land back. Starting with a boost. Wow, three mountains. Automatically, one of these is going to be a blank for Cruel Ultimatum. Cool.
Coligon's command. Coca Coligon's command. I think we're just passing. We'll play Expressive Iteration next turn. They didn't play a land on turn two. Did they not mulligan? They kept seven and didn't mulligan. So one goes in hand, one goes on bottom, one gets exiled. One in hand, one on bottom, and then one exiled that you can play. Okay, so one in your hand, put one on the bottom. So, hmm. Honestly, Time Spiral doesn't seem great here. One to put in our hand. It might just be Stowaway. Maybe Time Spiral is good. Stowaway is actually worse, right? We'll put this in our hand. One on the bottom, this one. Play this one. Play Mana Vault. All right. That was pretty good. I mean, we didn't. We Stowaway is actually trash because they have Walking Ballista. So, wow. So we can just Fiery Confluence and kill both of these guys again. Or we can Coligon's Command. Can we do all of these things? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cast. We could also play Goldspan Dragon here, attack, then play Fiery Confluence, which might be better. Assuming that they don't like have a path in hand. And this game feels a little lopsided anyway, so. Cast one to everything. Okay. Well, 2 1 at least. Not too shabby, but uh, also those matches were really, really odd. So. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate you. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to support the channel. And uh, I'll check you later. Thanks for watching, guys.